And thank you for staying with us. Real Sisters of the Diaspora Film Festival and Lecture Series is the first Academy qualifying festival for short narratives devoted to showcasing films produced, directed by women of color. The festival accepts all genres and also formats with a special interest in submissions from animated and web series producers. Joining us to share a little bit more is the founder of Real Sisters, Carolyn Butts. And then we also have the executive director and writer of Seven Pennies Film, Pierre Robinson. And thank you so much for joining us. It's a Thanks for having us. Thanks. Thank you. And so to have an opportunity to talk about the great work that you guys are doing and particularly looking towards uh, women of color. So Carolyn, I'll let you uh, start off and share a little bit about the, uh, the work of Real Sisters. Well, we were founded nearly 23 years ago um, and uh, we were really just focusing on how can we empower and give opportunities behind the ca cameras to directors and writers um, so I found it in Brooklyn with LIU University, and uh, we have just uh, produced our first virtual film festival where we showcase 98 films from around the world. So we showcase um, Asian, African, Caribbean uh, filmmakers. So it's been um, just really a global success in bringing these films to the audience that they deserve. So it's, it's a powerful um, um, event that we do every year. This year we were able to showcase this from October the um, 24th to the 17th. Mm -hmm. And Pierre, you're the executive producer and writer for uh, Seven Pennies Film. Introduce us to Seven Pennies Film. Um, it's a period piece that I wrote uh, several years ago about a Creole girl who plots her escape from uh, abuse, abuse going on in the house. So um, I wrote it um, in mind with um, the whole Me Too movement. And I was hoping to, you know, showcase the film and get into a lot of festivals, uh, go around the country and speak to other filmmakers and get people interested in my writing. Uh, and this year COVID happened. So now we're all virtual, but it's a good thing. I think maybe we're reaching more people yeah. This way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think too. I think so too. It's not the ideal way, but uh, the reality is more and more people now that we're home have the opportunity not to say that I'm committed over here, committed over there, and have an opportunity to be drawn to uh, to certain things. I want to talk particularly about women of color because uh, that's a particular emphasis uh, of the work that you do. Uh, Carolyn, talk to us about how important is it to see women of color when it comes to being producers, directors, uh, executive producers, writers. How important is that for you? It's very important because um, the stories that are told uh, by women, you know, they have we have a different perspective, and be able to get that, you know, open the doors for women where they can. Um, be able to be to decide what goes on the television, what goes on the um, in the theater, in the film theater. I mean, you can see like Ava DuVernay, the power of Queen Sugar. Uh, right now, I think we have a renaissance going on when it comes to women of color behind the camera. Um, a lot of the streaming channels are now uh, picking up, you know, short stories um, and short films that are, are dealing with. Um, you know, community. Like uh, we have a film that was in the um, uh, festival called Barak, Barakat, mm -hmm. and it's about a Muslim family and the mother who doesn't know how to cut comedy, doesn't know how to tell her family, her uh, young sons, that she's about to get married, uh, remarried. So it's stories like that that really resonate um, in the community. And there's films that are dealing with of course, racial profiling, um, and you know, a lot of films that are dealing with um, you know, defining um, beauty. There's a film called That I Am More Than My Hair, and it's addressing mm -hmm. the subject of female um, alopecia. Al al alopecia. Alopecia, right. Yeah, yeah, female baldness. And that's a story that you really haven't seen on the screen and in a very mm -hmm. powering way. Yeah, uh, we know Congresswoman Ayanna Presley, a buddy, a friend of mine, uh, is one that suffers with alopecia, and uh, her story is just tremendous. So to tell that story would be uh, is is awesome. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit, Pierre, about uh, these workshops because, in addition to while we're virtual, that doesn't stop people from still partaking. Uh, there are online script writing workshops, and I know that you're connected to that. 
Yeah, I took a script writing workshop at um, uh, in Brooklyn with um, Real Sisters. And um, it was really, yeah, it was really helpful. I actually uh, did a lot of character writing and, and analysis uh, with the teacher. And it kind of led me to have the courage to make this film actually. So it helped me with my writing. Um, we were really encouraged. We got to read out loud in the class and get a lot of feedback. And after that, I uh, decided to uh, make my own short film. So I would encourage anybody to uh, take the screenwriting and script writing classes. The name of the uh, workshop is called Script Writing Essentials, the Art of Creating Strong Female Characters. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, we founded this workshop with Brick in Brooklyn right. uh, because we wanted to give uh, not only women directors and writers the chance to really create these strong female characters with depth um, and, and sensibility, but we also wanted hopefully male directors and writers to participate in the workshop. And it's coming up again um, in December the 8th is four sessions at Brick. Wow. Well, one want to get people to get connected to you guys. So talk a little bit about what you have coming up because even though COVID has impacted, uh, <laughs> there's still a lot of great work that's going on. So let our viewers know exactly what you got coming up and how people can be connected. Well, yeah, people could go to realsisters.org um, in addition to producing Real Sisters annually, we have um, a short series called Real, Real um, Tea and Cinema, Real Sisters Tea and Cinema series. So we showcase three or four um, films a month. So if anyone's interested in being a part of that series, they can, you know, um, hit us up at realsisters.org. And, you know, also the workshop. I mean, we have a whole writing community now um, that we've developed um, online. Uh, that people can join in uh, coming in December. And uh, if you want to volunteer, check us out on um, Twitter at, at Real Sisters, at African Voices. Uh, we're just happy to, you know, have an outlet for a woman of color um, that is going strong for the past 23 years. Yeah. And up here, where do we go from Seven Pennies? I mean, obviously you've got that. And uh, <laughs> do we see other work? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on Instagram at Seven Pennies Film. Um, yes, I, um, I'm developing a pilot uh, script and I'm going to be shopping it around uh, to various uh, streaming um, platforms um, with my attorney. And hopefully you'll see um, a longer version of this film. I'm you know, fascinated with the 40s and New Orleans and the Creole culture, which is my family. So um, I'm really uh, excited about telling their stories. And so Carolyn, you guys got some things happening. Pierre, you got some things happening. We wanna get connected, we wanna stay connected. Thank you both for coming and sharing with us and uh, the great work that's going on. And so for those who wanna take part in the upcoming film festival, Carolyn, let's talk about that. Uh, do we have a film festival coming up? Yes, we do. We um, just opened the film submissions. So they could go to filmfreeway.com and look us up there. They can also go to realsisters.org. And, you know, we accept all types of films. I love to see comedies. We would love to see more animated film um, films uh, by women. So uh, we hope that, you know, people will throw their um, filmmaking skills in the hat and join us uh, for our 2020 festival, which is October the 23rd to the 24th. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for joining us. And certainly, we are glad to have you. Best wishes on the work that you're doing, and uh, you. we'll keep people connected. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. All right. Well, listen, want to let you know the submission deadline for 2021 Film Festival starts today, December the 2nd. Now, for more information, you can follow them on Instagram at Seven Pennies Film and then Real Sisters Film Fest. Once again, Seven Pennies Film and Real Sisters Film Fest.